we constantly talk about making a horse soft and not just light. Uh, a lot of people ride on loose reins. They say their horse is light, but when the horse becomes anxious or energized, lightness disappears. Softness is more mental than physical. Softness never disappears. So you, you've got to teach your horse to be soft. I, and I don't know what we can teach in this short video. We can teach it pretty good at a three-day clinic. But kind of to help you understand the difference between softness and lightness in the training, I'll get Jennifer to help me. So she's going to bring her horse over here. So for example, one thing that you could do, there's many that we can teach, but for example, if you teach your horse to turn left and right, if you take hold of the right rein and you hold it and you hold contact and keep turning, and when your horse is finally turned to where you want, you turn the rein loose and put your hand back, or you've pulled and you quit pulling when he's done turning, he is uncomfortable during the whole move because you have, you're pulling on his face for the whole move. What you should teach your horse is when I give you the aids to turn, you should turn with me, put slack in the rein, and you turn from my seat and my aids until I'm done turning, but you keep slacking the rein. If you have to maintain contact through the whole turn, your horse is behind the movement. There's resistance. He should be turning with you ahead of your hand and put slack in the rein. For example, if, Je if Jennifer flexes this horse, if she slides her hand down, does he give his face and put slack in it? See how he puts slack in the rein and gives his head. She doesn't have to pull his head around. He understands what he's supposed to do and he's ahead of the movement, so to speak. So if she walks off and she's going to turn him, if she touches the rein and gives him the aids, he should put slack in the rein and he should turn until she stops turning. So see, she doesn't even need the rein. He's ahead of the movement. Turn left. So he should put slack in the rein. He should continue to turn, keeping slack in the rein. So he is with Jennifer. If she has to maintain contact on the rein through the turn, really there's no softness. She's pulling him through the turn. So that would be... Uh, softness if the horse understands what he does with his feet and you don't have to hang on to his mouth through the turn. If we can get the horse understanding the bridle mentally, then for example, Jennifer could stop him without ever touching his mouth. She could close her fingers on the reins and the horse understands that the Brits of boundary so he stops before all the slack goes out. So consequently, he understands if you close your fingers and stop riding, if I stop my feet, you won't even pull on my mouth. If you have to pull on the horse's mouth to get him to stop, that, there's no softness. And they often take their nose and root in the bridle, push on your hands. So if they, your horse pushes on your hands every time you stop with his nose, you're going to lose control when you go trail riding and he becomes anxious or energized. All right, ask him to halt. And so he not only stops, he takes his weight back. All right, so walk him up here, Jennifer. So another thing that she can do to test his softness, if she starts to pick the reins up, and her seat asks him to back, does he back before she takes a hold of his mouth? Or does she have to take hold of his mouth to get him to back? See, he's already backed before all of the slack came out of the rain. So technically, she never really touches his mouth. 
He's soft mentally because he understands that if his feet go backwards when her seed asks for it and she's shortening the reins, she will never touch his mouth. So mentally he can be soft. Uh, if, if she has to actually pull on his mouth to back him, there is no softness. There could be lightness, but there's no softness. So if we develop softness, we have speed control, our horse stays more relaxed, but now we could also ask our horses to gait on a loose rein with their head down so that we're not holding them in the mouth to hold them in gait. Why would a horse want to gait if you have to hold him in his mouth the whole time he's gating? So softness makes for a very good life for a horse. Uh, I, I hope we, this is just a short video, we really can't teach much about it, but I hope you get the idea.